Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So if you're looking on going on a snorkeling adventure, then it can be a little bit hard choosing the right snorkeling wetsuit. So here at Simply Scuba, we've come up with a quick little guide to make your life a little bit easier on how to choose the right snorkeling wetsuit. Okay, so we're gonna do this list in kind of thermal temperatures uh, and sort of different ranges in different countries. Um, so to start off, we've got 29 degrees Celsius, which is a really sort of nice and warm. Anything over 29 degrees Celsius uh, is gonna be really sort of plenty warm. Uh, this is really the Maldives, Thailand kind of temperatures. Um, so here we've got the waterproof WP skin. Um, this is for rash vests, basically. So, um, so a rash vest is better than a traditional t-shirt because normal t-shirts aren't really made to be worn in the water. Um, as soon as they get wet and as soon as you start moving around, that material starts to separate, starts to grin a little bit and the, uh, the sun can still get through it. So, um, so it is not, it will protect you, but it's not as good as a rash vest. So rash vests are a lycra spandex type material uh, that's nice and flexible. They're nice and uh, sort of fitting, so hydrodynamic. Um, but even when stretched, they don't allow any light to get through. Now you get different grades. You get some that are a lower um, sort of uh, material, some that are sort of UPF 50 or they're up to UPF 80. So they're the same as if you're wearing um, that kind of sunscreen protection of UPF 50, but it can't wash off. You're always sort of wearing it and it covers all of your body. So you can get it in just a standard like t-shirt design with either long or short sleeves. Uh, this is a full body suit. So this is protecting all of you from the sun. It's also protecting you from a lot of marine bumps and scrapes as well as some stings. So um, some jellyfish stings, for example, they can't make it through this material. It's incredibly thin, but still their little, um, their little needles can't actually get through it. So it's protecting you. And whilst your skin is wet, if you brush up against a rock, if you're not wearing anything over the top, you can scratch yourself. Um, so this is still gonna protect you. So very thin, there's no thermal capacity. It's not gonna keep you um, that much warmer, but it does protect you from the sun as well as marine bumps and scrapes. Uh, moving on from that, if you are prone to the cold, um, you can get like a two and a half or a three mil shorty. This is the Scuba Pro Definition shorty. Um, so this is great all the way down to sort of your 26 and 28 degrees Celsius. This is really Red Sea in the summertime or the Caribbean where you need a little bit of thermal protection, but not too much. You don't want to be um, sort of putting on a full body wetsuit, especially when it's sort of 28 degrees out. Um, so this is a shorty. So two and a half mil of neoprene, you get a little bit of thermal capacity. Um, but you don't have those same sleeves. So it's a lot easier to put on and take off. Um, and it's keeping your core body nice and warm. So if you keep your body organs nice and warm, in turn, they keep you nice and warm. Um, so it's that great um, sort of really quick suit that you can throw on. It's a little bit buoyant as well. So if you want to stay on the surface, made up of hundreds of little bubbles inside this neoprene. So that's going to keep you afloat really nice and well. So um, there's one other, if you are a bit more prone to the cold, you can get something like the waterproof Neo Skin. Uh, so this is a one mil full length wetsuit. Um, so a little bit thinner than the shorty, but this one has sleeves as well. So just as easy to get in and out of, because it's only one mil of neoprene, it's incredibly flexible uh, and nice and comfortable whilst you're in it. So it's a lot like that full body rash vest that we just saw, but it does have a little bit of thermal capacity because it's got a bit of neoprene all of it is neoprene, uh, it's just very, very thin. So this is great down to those sort of 26, 28 degrees, Red Sea in the summertime or the Caribbean, um, or even warmer if you're particularly prone to, uh, to the cold. Okay, so when the water temperature starts to get a little bit cooler, then it's worth going up through the neoprene thicknesses. So when you're between sort of 22, 25 degrees Celsius, then you're starting looking anywhere between two and even a five mil suit or a five mil shorty. Um, this, for example, this is the fourth element thermocline suit. This is the spring suit. Um, so it comes in lots of different um, sort of combinations and uh, configurations. So this has long sleeves on the top, but short sleeves on the bottom. So you don't have long legs. You can get it in just a shirt. You can get it in a full body suit. Um, but this is a great kind of halfway in between a rash vest and a wetsuit. It has the thermal capacity of a wetsuit, but it contains zero neoprene. So if you're allergic to neoprene or a lot of um, 
sort of materials that come on wetsuits. This is a fantastic alternative. And it's also neutrally buoyant, so you don't need to add any lead if you need to uh, sort of dive down. You're not gonna be stuck on the surface uh, really buoyant. Um, but this is made out of three layers of material. You've got an outer protective layer, which is pretty much the same as your rash vest. But then on the inside, you have a semi-permeable membrane, which means that it can wick sweat away from you, which will keep you nice and warm and dry if you're just doing some surface sports. Um, but it doesn't allow uh, sort of moisture and wind to cut through. So when it gets a little bit chillier, uh, it's gonna protect you. And so uh, when you get out after a dive, it's gonna keep you nice and warm uh, for if the wind sort of starts to cut through. On the inside, you have a really soft plush lining, very, very soft and comfortable against your skin. And again, it, uh, it just wicks that, uh, that moisture off your skin to keep you nice and warm. So this is really, um, you can layer this up underneath or, or well, really underneath uh, your wetsuit, um, but sort of Red Sea in the winter time, um, sort of putting this kind of suit on or uh, sort of moving up to even a five mil sort of wetsuit, um, depending on kind of how, again, how much you feel the cold. But this is a, uh, a great alternative to neoprene if you're allergic, for example. Um, but moving up through the list, then we're gonna move up to a sort of a three mil suit. So this is the Mara's Flexa 322. Um, so as the name suggests, you have different thicknesses of neoprene around this. Um, so the main sections over the chest is gonna be three mil, uh, and then around the arms and around the knees, it's gonna get a lot thinner, so that goes down to two mil. So you're still getting thermal protection of a, uh, of a three mil in the key areas around your core to keep you nice and warm, but you still have the flexibility to move around in. Uh, so this has a few nice little features to look out for. This is front entry, as you can see, uh, which just means that it's really easy to get in and out of it all by yourself. You can just do it up. Uh, really quick and easy. On this uh, the little zipper, you can see we actually have an emergency whistle. So that's fantastic if you're um, sort of lost out at sea. Uh, you just need to get someone's attention uh, on the shore. You can just blow on that and that's always nice and close to hand. When it's done up, it's actually right on your neck. So really easy to, uh, to access. You can attach a pocket onto this to keep your um, sort of bits and bobs safe with you whilst you're in the water. You've got small little features like a little D-ring just to clip stuff off onto. So lots of little features all over it, just make it a really sort of effective suit at keeping you nice and warm. But then when you move on to the sort of colder temperatures, when you're hitting the sort of 18 to 21 degrees, um, again, if you're particularly warm blooded, you can get away with a, uh, a sort of a three mil full length suit. Um, but if you're prone to the cold, um, then really a five mil is the sort of way you want to start sort of heading. Thicker neoprene or layering up like a shorty underneath this. This is really the Mediterranean kind of areas that kind of 18 to 21 degrees, uh, but always check online to see what the average monthly temperature is. Okay guys, so that was quite an in-depth look, but to summarize, 29 degrees and above, which is your Maldives, kind of Thailand, South Pacific kind of area, it's just rash fest because that's really nice and warm. Uh, 26 to 28 degrees, which is the Red Sea in the summertime or the Caribbean, this is really two mil shorties to kind of one mil full length suits. 22 to 25 degrees Celsius, this is Red Sea in the winter time. Uh, this is kind of two to five mil suits. Again, depending on how much you feel the cold, it really depends on you guys, unfortunately. 18 to 21 degrees Celsius, Mediterranean kind of temperatures, three to five mil full length suits. But let us know in the comments below what wetsuit you use and where and why and whether you feel the cold or not, just to help others understand and make the best decision on which wetsuit to choose whilst they're snorkeling. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.